guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Mary. So I just wanted to start something new called a Motivational Mondays with Mary, which I'm super duper excited because my dream is to inspire others. And so uh, my newest thing, which I came up with today, is how can I get people to interact with me and um, motivate them. They already say I'm like inspiring them, but I want to motivate and I want to help with you guys' journey. So I came up with Motivational Mondays with Mary. So if you are uh, trying to get motivated on your fitness goal and trying to start off or you're beginners or even if you're like superb um, and you want to just stay tuned for the video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and let's jump right into the video. So I um, started my journey on December 26th of 2016. I saw a picture of me the day after Christmas and I was like, oh heck no, I need to change my life, you know? Like, I can't be looking like that. No, no. So um, I should say that that is when my journey began. I started exactly the day after because I was so discouraged on how I looked and how I felt. And every year, I promise you, every year, I was like, I'm gonna get fit. I'm gonna be healthy. I'm gonna live a healthy lifestyle. You know, I was one of those that every single year came around. That was my New Year's resolution. And I would fail every single time. Then I was like, okay, two weeks. Every two weeks, I was like, no, I'm gonna diet. And then like a week later, I'm scarfing down cookies or scarfing down brownies. Like if you're like me and Every year, your your resolution is to get healthy, or every two weeks you're on a diet, then girlfriend, why are you waiting? Just start. Like, if, if you need motivation to start, this is your motivation. Me, your girl Mary, telling you that today is the day. Like, no more hesitation. No more putting it off. No more stalling. Because what happens is, when you put it off and you keep stalling, you have more days to just be like, okay, I got tomorrow, or I got next week. And then in the meantime, let's have a whole thing of Oreos and Doritos and chips and all kinds of stuff, <laughs> you know? Like, if you're like me, this is your motive. This is me motivating you to just do it. Just do it like next week. Just do it. How bad do you want it? Like, how bad do you want it? Like, do you want it bad or you kind of want it so so Like, how bad do you want it? Like, this is something that I legit... It's a question for people when they say, oh, I want to lose weight, um, how can I start? Want it bad? Because if you want it bad, you'll go for it and you'll just keep going. Like for me, when I saw the picture, that was my how bad do you want it. I didn't want to be that size no more. I didn't want to be that size any longer. I didn't want to be that big. I didn't like how I looked and that was my how bad do I want it. Like I saw the picture and I knew I needed to change. And that's all I needed <laughs> to see that. Like, see that, and then I, I wanted to bet. Like, I needed it. My body was, like, craving a change. And change is good, guys. Like, don't be afraid of change. Especially in a good change, like being healthy. That's a good change. There's nothing to be, like, scared about. Like, <laughs> none of that. Because in the long run, is a healthy lifestyle. Like, you, that's more than your body could ever asked for you know so my question to you is how bad do you want it if you want it so so like every two weeks then you're not going to achieve it if you want it every other week then you're not going to achieve it like you have to figure out how bad you want it and if you want it real bad there's nothing going to get in the way of you for you to achieve that goal like for me there's nothing nothing can get in the way of this like I want it so bad that like I cold turkey like sugar I cold turkey junk food I ate salads I went to the gym every day you know it's like it's a mental thing you have to set short-term and long-term goals so I I mean my short-term goal is to lose weight you know my short-term goal for when I first started was to lose five pounds Lose seven pounds. Don't set goals that you cannot achieve. Don't do that. 
because <laughs> you're not going to achieve it. Like if you set a goal of like when you go to the gym, like for me recently I set a goal of every time I went to the gym it was to beat my mile time. I would push myself till I beat my mile time. As I got to two miles it was more like, okay now you're at two miles, we're going to get to two miles, uh, up two miles and a half, uh, two and a half miles. The next one was to get to three miles. but. It was more of a timely thing so my last goal that I just achieved which I am like crazy like crazy happy <laughs> is my um, my goal was to achieve a three mile run in 30 minutes which if you follow me on snapchat I did achieve which I'll put in the video for you guys to see because I was so ecstatic I couldn't believe it I was like oh my gosh I did it I did it I did three miles in 30 minutes, that was my goal today. Catch me outside, how about that? I'm so happy. Things like that, you have to set some long-term, long-term. So one of my long-term goals is to uh, achieve a, a marathon. Um, I have other goals, but it's, it's really finding goals that work best for you. So you need to find goals that you wanna achieve, that you can stick to, and that you can continue to strive for and reach them, you know? Like reach for the stars based on internal let's do external so for me what helped me is when I saw a picture of me on Christmas but I'm not saying to go and look at like all the healthy girls online and be like I want to be like her or be like her or be like her you know that doesn't help you either like be yourself set your own goal get your own body goal like it's okay to look at pictures and be like oh she's got a nice body or when you're obsessively be like oh you know no, because then you're not going to achieve it at all. So my last thing for you guys is to keep on pushing. Don't give up. Do not give up. Just because you can't see progress or you don't see progress in two weeks doesn't mean that you're not progressing. Fitness is so different. It's so, it's so unique. Like, it's a mental thing. Not just a physical thing, but it's a mental thing. I have grown so much mentally and physically, but mentally, like, than I have ever like could imagine. When I started this journey, I was it was just for fitness. It was just for to get myself healthy and you know have a nice body. Not only am I seeing this thing, these things, but my mental status have like has increased. <laughs> it's crazy how it works. Like mentally, the mind is a, a very strong thing. And when you feel like you want to give up, that's where the mind comes in. You tell yourself, you can do it. And there are many a times where I want to give up because I feel like I'm not seeing progress or I did bad or I'm being too hard on myself. When in all reality, you're gaining a whole bunch of things when it comes to starting a fitness lifestyle not just the healthy aspect but mentally and physically and emotionally and spiritually and these things come into the aspect later on in the future you know so it's like don't give up when you want to don't give up like you can do it and i want to be there with you guys i want to push you guys and i want to help push you i want to help motivation i want to help you so this is the part of this video uh you can do it you can do it. I promise you can. Even when you feel like you can't, tell yourself you can. Because your body, first off, is stronger than you know. Your body is way stronger than you think it is. And your mind is way powerful than you think it is. It's like when you feel like you can't do it anymore, keep pushing. And you'll see that you can. And it'll keep wanting you to push further. So, like, that's my only thing for you guys. I really hope this video helps you guys. I really hope that you you can get some tips from it. And I hope you guys come back for Motivational Mondays with Mary. Um, but I really hope this can, can help you guys. So I really thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later.